Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a very exciting video. This is a Louis Vuitton unboxing video. Now I don't do a lot of videos like this, but I thought it would be so fun to show you guys my latest purchase. So quick backstory, I was planning on picking up this bag when we were in France. Um, we actually ended up canceling our trip. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I talked a bit about it on there, but I had been telling you guys we were planning to be in France. Most of the month of February, it was like a birthday gift slash belated honeymoon and all that jazz, but we ended up not going. Anyway, prior to that, we had a work trip or like a business trip that we took to Vegas and I was in Vegas for a week. And so I had been thinking about this bag for <laughs> pretty much forever. I thought about this bag even before I bought my first Louis Vuitton, which I did the first time I was in Vegas. So the first time I ever went to Vegas was in 2018 and I bought a Speedy. I will do another video on it, but I think I have an unboxing. I will link it up in the cards for you guys if you're curious to see that. And I actually wanted this bag, but it was a little bit more than the Speedy that I got. And so I ended up going home with the Speedy and it's really strange. Um, I know some people grew up with designer bags. It's totally normal for them to have a few Louis Vuittons, Gucci, you know, Hermes, what have you. For me, it's definitely like a new experience. It's not something I grew up with. It's not like my mom was really into designer bags or anything like that. So yeah, it was really an interesting experience. And so when I came home with my Speedy, I hardly used it. Like I'm so careful with it. I think I've carried it under 10 times and it's just like this weird feeling. So I kind of want to do like an update, like a one year later thoughts on like my Speedy. Um, but anyway, so that happened and then I was in Vegas and Rel was with me this time. Last time he wasn't with me and it was our last day in Vegas and I was actually about to meet Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner. I posted a picture on my community tab. I'll throw it up here for you guys to see. This is Annette. If you never checked out her channel, I will try and remember to link it down in the description box. She's so sweet. So anyway, we were sitting there and I had a little bit of money saved up and I kind of been talking about this bag and how I wanted it for my birthday and how I was hoping to find it in France, but we were in Vegas, so maybe it was in Vegas. Um, I checked at the Louis Vuitton store in Caesars and they didn't have it at the forums shop. So I was like kind of forgotten about it a little bit. On our last day, I was just playing on my phone waiting to meet Annette. And for some reason, I just called the 800 number and I was talking to the girl and I was like, hey, like I'm in Las Vegas, it's my last day, about to leave on this flight in like five hours. Is there any chance there might be this bag in Vegas? Like, do you know? And she looked it up and it was so funny because I can like recall this whole conversation. It was so funny because I'd never experienced anything like it. And she's like, she's like, go right now, go to the Bellagio. She's like, don't tell anyone what you're doing. Don't Instagram, don't Snapchat, just go. She's like, they should have some bags. So I tell Rail and we're like sitting there and I'm like, this isn't like actually happening, right? Like this isn't actually happening. And Rail's like, you know, let's go do it. I'm like, but Rail, like Annette's gonna meet me at Starbucks and I'm gonna feel seem like such a crazy person telling her like, hey, change of plans. <laughs> we're going to the Bellagio now. Um, and this had been like a week after, a week of us trying to meet up and it was our last day. And he's like, no, no, it's fine, just tell her. And I, so I texted her, she was cool. And so we started walking and I didn't realize actually that Caesars was right next to the Palagio. So we actually got there pretty quick, just like walk, you know, sp speed walk through. And we get to the Louis Vuitton store and this really nice person's helping us. And she gives me the bag and I'm like, whoa. <laughs> and it was really fun. We had a really fun time. Um, Rail actually ended up picking up one of their men's fragrances. I don't know how to say the name, but I'll throw up a picture in the cards for you guys. Um, I, di I didn't know anything about Louis Vuitton's men men's fragrances, but we actually have some friends that are huge 
Louis Vuitton fans and he loves Louis Vuitton fragrances so we had smelt it at his house sometime around New Year's because they had us over and it's like this amazing fresh scent. A lot of the times I feel like scents can be overpowering for me. Like I love really fresh, clean scents. I don't really like heavy florals. I actually prefer men's fragrances because they I love like a musky scent but I don't like very heavy like black opium is a little too heavy. I got Chloe roses because for some reason I was like convinced that I could handle the scent of roses but every time I spray that it gives me a headache so I need to remember to de declutter that. So anyway, Rail bought this fragrance. If you guys are looking for a really nice gift for your husband or your boyfriend or your father or whatever, I would totally recommend um, Louis Vuitton does refills on their fragrances so once you use up a bottle I believe you can send it into the store and they'll refill it for you for like a certain amount of money which I think is nice it's like nice that they recycle so anyway here's my box and little tip I'm sure if you are in the market for a designer purse you probably already know this but just in case if you are shopping in um, a state that has a store but you live in a state that doesn't have a store you can just have your bag shipped to you and then you don't have to pay tax so for me since I live in North Dakota and we don't have a Louis Vuitton store they can ship it to me and I don't get taxed so the nice thing about it is I save some money not paying taxes the bad thing is you don't get to walk out of the store with your bag, but it's okay. You know, um, Rail was super nice and he was like, let's overnight it. So it was on Saturday and they shipped it out on Monday. So I got my bag on Tuesday, but here is the box. Super cute. This is the ribbon that they use. Um, it's just like the traditional ribbon. I don't know. <laughs> so there is that. And then this is like a magnetized box. And then here is the strap. Um, this is a removable strap. And then obviously you can see I got the monogram canvas. Um, these are called something. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> and then here is the dust bag. Obviously, if you follow me on Instagram, you know which bag I got. Um, but I thought it would be fun to share um, some fashion stuff on YouTube with you guys because I love my friends on YouTube and I don't know this is just kind of exciting for me it was a little treat you know um, for turning 30 and not going to France um, so sorry this is like stuck on here so I got the little textile tag and the little thingy but yeah this is what a Louis Vuitton box looks like I like to obviously I only have two bags so I keep mine for storage let's put that right there and this is the dust bag and so yeah i hope you guys like this type of video but here is the bag i got it's so cute you guys i'm so in love with this thing it's gonna be such a perfect bag for the summertime i have been obsessed with this bag for easily over a year every time i see somebody carrying this i freak out i haven't seen as many of these in north dakota or in fargo but i saw these in vegas like there's so many people that had these and i don't know why i'm so obsessed with louis vuittons but i just am i think it's an interesting house fashion house um the history with the trunks and the different canvases and i love their design so much it is interesting because I've watched so many videos about Louis Vuitton just the past couple of days and you know people talk about how their bags are copycatted and things like that and that can be disheartening. Luckily I live in a place where the fakes do look really fake <laughs> and the real thing I think most people are very um, humble I guess I would say where I live so most people that have a designer bag it, I do believe that it is authentic um, but anyway I, it just doesn't bother me as much how um, copycatted they are I think if I live back home um, where you know it's Asia and there are more counterfeit bags I think I'd be like less um, interested in something like Louis Vuitton uh, but where I live I just doesn't bother me so this is the bag Super cute. It is a crossbody, so this this strap is detachable, um, which I think is really nice because if you wanna, you know, go 
carry it like night out you can use the top handle i've also seen people like put a little scarf on here which is super cute i might do that at some point and this is the untreated vaqueta leather i don't know whatever so super cute and then it has like the little clasp so you unclasp it it is really hard to close this bag if it isn't full and then this is the inside super cute so there's two big pockets and then a back pocket here so there's three pockets you can really fill it up as you can see and then on the back there is a zipper compartment which i haven't really which i haven't really used for anything just yet but there is what that looks like so i feel like this is just such a great bag for if you're on the go you don't want to carry a whole tote bag of stuff and that's why i'm so excited this is like my perfect weekend running errands bag. I've taken it to church a few times and things like that. And I just really, really, really love this bag so, so much. And this is the monogram canvas. It also comes in the reverse monogram, which is so cute. And the Empreint leather. This is the most affordable one. I think the reverse is a little bit more, like about $50 more. And then the Empreints are like two something thousand so i didn't want to go for that i love this like classic lv print i've fallen in love with it so much like i said if i lived in sri lanka this is like very cheesy but where i live it's not as common of a bag so to me i just am gonna treasure this so much and i've already used it way more than my speedy but i want to break out my speedy because a lot of people have i've been watching a lot of videos um and a lot of people compare this bag to the speedy this is a newer design from louis vuitton and it's actually one um, that has seen a few price increases i feel like it started probably in the 1400 range and now it's up to about 1800 so i do feel like this bag is appreciating in value um the other nice thing is that it is a little bit harder to come by like i told you guys i got really lucky i feel like i was hoping to find it in france but it's definitely not a bag you can just go on the Louis Vuitton website and buy your speedies, your Neverfulls, any of the classic Louis Vuitton pieces you can buy online but something like this is called for availability and usually the wait list is very long so I was just I just happened to be in the right place at the right time and I'm so happy that my husband was supportive of me getting this bag because it was definitely a splurge purchase and it's just it's just made my year. <laughs> it's really just made my year. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like. I love it so much. I have a few things in here. I have my keys, uh, which are obnoxious. I have my AirPods on here too, just because I feel like this is a great place to put my AirPods. So that usually sits in there. And then this is my wallet right now. It's just so easy. I have a full size wallet too that I carry around in like my work bag. But if I'm just you know, running to church or just out on the weekends. Everything I need, my ID, my credit cards are in there. And then I always have a runny nose. I always need to blow my nose. So I always have Kleenexes in here. Um, my phone fits in here, obviously. And there's like a ton of room for more things in here. So I do love, love my Pochette Matisse so, so much. And yeah, I just wanted to come on here and show it to you guys. See if anybody had any questions and yeah, just, happy with my purchase so I wanted to show it to you guys because you are my friends and I thought you guys might be excited to see it so anyway I hope you enjoyed let me know your thoughts down below on designer purchases I know um, some people love designers some people love Target I love Target and I don't know let me know your thoughts on high-end purchases are they necessary or are you you know purchase or pass what are your opinions i would love to hear from you guys thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next one soon bye guys